Hey folks, Doug here. Uh, recently, I found a cart that wasn't working the first time I powered it up. Uh, good old casino kit here. That usually means it's dirty. Uh, I believe, and I've been doing this for a few decades, that the Wyman's Glass Cooktop Cleaner is the appropriate solution for cleaning NES carts. Uh, without further ado, let's just get to the workbench and I'll show you how I clean a cart. Here we are at the workbench. We have a few implements here that we're going to use to clean the cart. Obviously, we have the dirty cart itself uh, that needs to be cleaned. This is a game bit driver. It's a 3.5 millimeter uh, special security bit. You can get those at any video game store. You can get them online. Uh, I will put a link in the description to uh, where you can get them on Amazon. Disclaimer, I am an Amazon affiliate. I do earn a small commission if you choose to purchase from the link. Uh, having said that, uh, once again, what we're going to want to do is open the cartridge. As you can see here, it has three screws on the back. Uh, all but the first batch of NES titles have three screws on the back. Uh, there are five screw games, uh, mostly, again, earlier run cartridges. Uh, but this one has three. And, of course, it has the proprietary Nintendo screws. Once in a great while, you'll find a game with a flathead set of screws. Uh, but again, most, most cases, you will have these proprietary screws. It's simple enough to just go on ahead and open the cart with the special game bit. And once you take all three screws and give them a nice little loosen, uh, what I like to do is just kind of flip the cart over gen gently, uh, give it a little tip-tap. And uh, usually at least one of the screws comes out here. One of them came out. We need to give the other two screws a little bit more uh, twisting and turning to get them loosened up properly. So we'll go ahead and do that. Give a little tip tap there. And there we go. All three screws have been removed. Once the three screws are removed, you can just gently lift apart the two halves of the cartridge shell, as we've seen there. All right. So there you go. It is dirty. <laughs> no doubt. And you can lift the game circuit board out. And as you can see here, uh, there's a lot of grime and uh, dirt uh, baked into that circuit board uh, over the decades, I guess you'd say. Uh, that is the most likely reason why this cartridge does not work properly and thus why we've opened it up to clean it. So let's take the cart shell here and just put that aside for a moment so we can focus on our circuit board. Uh, so here we're going to take our Wyman's glass cooktop cleaner. Again, you can get this in most grocery stores. Uh, but again, if you would like to shop online, I'll leave a link in the description uh, where you can purchase this on Amazon. And again, like I said, full disclaimer, I am an Amazon affiliate. If you choose to pick up some Wyman, uh, I do earn a small commission for each sale. So having said all that, we're going to take our Wyman's glass cooktop cleaner and we are going to apply it to our PCB. Now, when we're done with the Wyman's, we will use some of the uh, rubbing alcohol here to give it a little uh, wipe down uh, to make sure that there's no uh, residue from the glass cooktop cleaner that uh, settles in on our cartridge. Uh, so it's kind of a final step. Some people will suggest that you just use the alcohol. And I found that that doesn't pick up enough of the dirt baked into the, the board. Some people, by the way, say just use water. That doesn't do the job at all. Uh, in some cases, depending on what water you're using, you might corrode the circuit board further. Now, having said that, here we go. We're going to do a little dabble do ya on the Wyman's uh, onto the cartridge. Don't overdo it. Again, less is more here. And we're going to take uh, our cloth here. It's kind of like a cheesecloth. It could be like an old T-shirt, a rag, uh, something that's a soft, dust-free cloth is what you want to use here. And we are going to gently, nice and gently, work it in to the, uh, the edges of the circuit board, the pins there, the gold pins. Uh, this is the correct methodology, folks. Don't let anyone fool you. You never want to blow on your cartridge to repair it. Um, uh, you know, uh, introducing your own saliva onto the cartridge. Uh, your saliva is not a cartridge cleaning agent. No matter how great your oral hygiene is, I can assure you that is not the way you want to go. So we're going to move on to the back of the cartridge. This one was a lot grimier on the back, so we use a little bit more on the back down the front, but gentle, 
gentle, working it in. And you can see right here uh, from the cloth, uh, there is a lot of dirt and crap that got pulled up there. Uh, and you can see the uh, condition of those pins is a lot better now uh, for having done this uh, pretty simple process of cleaning. Uh, so once we've uh, finished looking the front and back, uh, working the front and back with the Wyman's, we're going to proceed on to our uh, rubbing alcohol, the isopropyl alcohol, and we're just going to take our cotton swabs and we're going to dip it in the alcohol and just give it a nice little simple uh, uh, scrub uh, with the alcohol. Again, the purpose of this is to uh, remove any residue uh, from the Wyman's uh, cooktop cleaner that might uh, have uh, stayed behind from there. With glass, cooktop cleaner, stuff like that, you kind of sometimes get a little residue. So this will mitigate that uh, and make sure that those pins are shiny and clean as they can possibly be. Uh, great connectivity there. You know, uh, a, a much better chance that all the pins will make correct contact uh, and conduct electricity uh, with the cartridge connector inside the NES. So here we're going to put the circuit board back in the case. There's only one way it can go. You can't go wrong with this. It only fits in the correct way. We'll just uh, put the cartridge shell back together. We will reassemble the cartridge by screwing in those three screws. And just like that, uh, we now have a cleaned NES cartridge as we finish off. Uh, putting those screws back on. Interesting note, this was a former uh, rental store, uh, video rental store uh, game, and sometimes they would put those security stickers on one of the screws to prevent people from swapping the games out. That was actually a problem back in the day. So having said that, let's button up our alcohol, of course, and now the moment of truth. Let's take this cartridge and see if it works. So here we are, moment of truth. We're plugging it into our NES, our top loader, uh, and turning it on. And all that looks great, folks. That's very promising. Uh, and it appears our title screen has come up, and we now have a working cartridge.